Hello everybody, it's Miss Viv. Uh, Miss Viv's asked me to read this story to you. It's called Just Jack. And it's written by Jane Tanner. She's the author. Oh, there's a blurb at the back. Shall we read the blurb very quickly? Jack was getting ready for his first day at kinder. He wouldn't know anyone. How could he make friends? Then Jack had an idea. He put on his red and blue suit, his yellow cape, his special socks, his gum boots, and last of all, his shiny black mask. Super Jack was ready for action, and all the other kids loved him. But what will Jack do when his costume needs a wash? Let's read. Just Jack. Just Jack. It was Monday and Jack was getting ready for his first day at kinder. He was worried because he wouldn't know anyone then Jack had an idea. He put on his red and blue suit, his yellow cape, his special socks, his gum boots, and last of all, his shiny black mask. Doesn't he look fabulous? At kinder, their teacher took everyone outside to play. Some boys dug in the sandpit a gigantic hole, nearly to the centre of the earth. They needed lots and lots of water to fill it up. Super Jack rushed to help. He felt so strong that he carried two buckets at the same time. After kinder, Mum said superhero costume needed a wash. No, said Jack. On Tuesday, the children painted pictures. Super Jack's painting was so big that he used up all of the red and black paint. Then he helped put everyone's brushes in the sink. He sounds very helpful, doesn't he? After kinder, mum said his costume really needed a wash. No, no, yelled Jack. On Wednesday, it was Ruby's birthday. Super Jack helped give out the cake. He was so hungry when no one was looking. He ate three pieces. At home, Mum said now his costume really, absolutely needed a wash. <laughs> Look at all the paint and cake stuck to it. But what did Jack say? No, no, no! Jack shouted. On Thursday, Ruby, Ted and Jack made pies. Super Jack helped find the best mud, then they all practiced slipping and sliding. Super Jack slid so far and so fast that he almost flew right up in the air. At home, Mum said, today we will wash your costume and that is that. But what did Super Jack say? No, 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 no yelled Jack. 
He jumped up and down and nearly made the ground rumble. That's enough, Jack, said Mum. Goodness me, he's having a little tantrum. Very, very slowly, Jack took off his yellow cape, his gumboots, his red and blue suit and his special socks. And last of all, his shiny black mask. Mum rubbed and scrubbed his costume until it was clean. Jack watched Mum hang everything out on the line. Cheer up, Jack, she said. You know you're still my hero. But he didn't feel like a hero without his costume. He was just Jack. I wonder what he's feeling right about now. Maybe a little unsure. Maybe he's feeling like he's lost a bit of confidence without his superhero cape. On Friday, Jack's superhero costume was still wet. Mum said he had to wear his jeans and t-shirt to kinder, but Jack didn't want to go. It'll be fine. You'll still have fun, said Mum, and gave him a big hug. Jack tried to be brave. When we arrived, when he arrived, the children were already playing at the water tub. Ted called out to hello him over to the group. Come on, Jack, said Ruby, we're making bubbles. Jack ran to join them. What's going to happen? He picked up a plastic tube and blew so hard a million, billion, zillion bubbles filled the air. Ted laughed and laughed. Ruby shouted, do it again, Jack, again. Mm. He is still having fun without his cape. So he did, and so did everyone else. Jack's teacher came over. Where's your superhero costume today? She asked. Jack grinned. I'm just Jack today, he said. Or oh, was he? Oh, what's he got on his feet? That's right, super starry superhero socks. <laughs> what a wonderful story. So it doesn't matter what you wear, you are you.